If you plan on adding a blog section to your website, you'll want to become familiar with the Post section within WordPress. Under the Post menu, you'll see you have All Posts, Add New, Categories, and Tags. And in the All Posts section is where you're going to see a list of all of the previous posts that you have created, whether they are in draft, form, or if you have published them. Add New is obviously where you'll be able to add a new post, and then you have Categories and Tags, which helps you organize your content a little better. So let's say on your blog you'll be discussing multiple topics. This could be web design, SEO, website traffic, or other topics. You can add these topics as categories. That way you'll be able to organize your blog into different categories. So as your blog grows and expands, you'll be able to do things like create a drop down menu that only pulls topics related to SEO or related to web design, for example, if you want to be able to send your visitors to a particular page. But we'll get more into that, how to set that up in a bit. But adding categories is not required. You can create one main category and have all your blog posts there. Now tags is similar. If you, Again, if you plan on discussing many topics and you would like your visitors to be able to search and find specific content, you'll be able to type in those tags here. So let's say we'll have web design on our site. We can add that in as a tag. And as we create posts, we can assign these tags to each individual post. You can discuss SEO, we can go back, we can break down web design a little bit more and add in web development. Again, you can create a long list of tags and assign them to each post as you go in. So we'll take a look at that. To create a new post, you'll click on Add New. Now you'll see this looks a lot like your pages, and it is. You'll enter your title, you'll enter the text below. On the right hand side you have the option to publish your post or you can save it. The nice thing is, let's say you're going on vacation or you're just going to have a busy week but you want to continue publishing posts, you'll be able to schedule it by clicking next to publish immediately. You can select the day and time that you would like for it to appear and then click OK and publish. That way these posts will appear when you have scheduled them. Now down below you'll see the categories that we created so you can select the category you would like for it to go into and again tags if you have come up with a new tag you can add that in or you can choose from the most used tags which is what we've created down below is a set featured image this is the main image that you would like to see in your blog role meaning when someone comes to your blog and they see multiple blog posts this is the image that will appear next to the title and intro description. So you can click on Set Featured Image and you can upload a file. When you're done, click Publish and your post will now be live on your site unless you've scheduled it for a future date.